Hey guys! Oh! Oh my god. Ow. Oh my god. I dropped my mirror. I got it. <laughs> okay, today we're going to be playing with the Glam Light and a Strawberry Shortcake collection, which I'm so excited about. Um, so the only thing that I didn't manage to get from this collection was the blush. Um, but I have everything else. So, let's have a look. So I bought mine from the actual Glam Light website. I got it as a Christmas present from my mom. Um, because they, it was sold out on Glam Raider. Um, it's in stock again on Glam Raider at this point. Probably won't be by the time you see this video, let's be honest. Um, but yeah, the blush is sold out again. So obviously the blush was quite popular, which makes me want it. <laughs> um, but that's fine. So yeah, in this collection, we have obviously the main event, which is the eyeshadow palette. We also have some really cute lashes. We have a little very sweet lip kit. And then the last thing that we have is a little um, blending sponge, which if I'm being honest, I'm probably not going to use it. I would really like to display this in my studio somewhere. Usually if like um, a collection comes with like a novelty item, like I've got a few of them sitting around the Simpsons and Revolution collection and stuff. There was a few things out of that collection that I used as like display. Um, But anyway, so yeah, I probably won't be using that as a beauty sponge today. I will be using that as decoration. So let's get into it. Um, so yeah, this is the Berrylicious palette and it has a really faint scent of strawberries, which is so cute, I think. Like that is just so sweet. So this is how the palette looks. It's absolutely it's so cute. Cutest thing ever. And this is the palette that we will be working with today, which I'm very excited. I kind of have a, um, a look in mind, so we're going to see how that goes. Um, so let's just get into it. I'm going to prime my eyes quickly with the P. Louise base in Roma 01. I'm really hoping to use up this base before I go to the Gold Coast. I go in like three weeks or something, which is like so soon. So soon, which is, uh, I have very conflicting emotions. I'm very excited, but I'm very nervous. Um, and yeah, so we'll see how it goes. I think it'll be very good for me, something that I really need to do. My anxiety has been an absolute mess lately. I had to pull over the other day because I started having a panic attack while I was driving, and now, like, driving is one of my favorite things in the world. I am one of those people that goes for like an hour long drive just to go for a drive um, and now it, my anxiety has taken that away from me because every time I drive I have to keep my heart is racing I um, get tension headaches because I'm so stressed and yeah so thanks anxiety I really appreciate you destroying my life again but I'm very determined to not let it take over um, I've been forcing myself to drive I went for a drive last night for no reason just because I I'm just trying to force myself to get over it, um, but it's been extremely difficult. But um, I've come such a long way with my anxiety and I'm determined to keep going and not letting this take over. So uh, just on the low, fuck you, anxiety. That's just something that I really needed to get out. <laughs> okay, let's, let's get started. So the very first shade I'm going to take is this like light greeny kind of shade and that is going just let's just chuck it near the eyebrow and like through the crease a little bit I'm trying not to get it too low down on the lid because I do want to cut the crease today so you know if there's not as much green down there there's less work for me I feel like this shade is coming up a little bit muddy or maybe it's just not as light as I thought I don't know what do you guys think okay yeah it seems a little bit patchy but Let's keep blending because I think with some uh, blending and some building we can uh, get it there. Not worked with like greens in uh, such a long time. I haven't really worked with anything colourful in a very long time um, so <laughs> I feel like I'm used to blending out neutrals which are obviously a lot easier to work with um, because they're neutral but it's literally just it's just science. <laughs> um, the same with like you know painting or anything like that obviously if it's got a, a shade to it 
other than something quite neutral there's a little bit more work involved and it's just the way that the world goes okay the next shade i'm going to take is like the dark green which is your shade i wish they had one more little green um shade in between like just something maybe a little bit lighter you know but anyway so we're putting this on the lid we just won't bring it up as far as the other green shade went okay i feel like that's starting to look cool it's definitely taking a little bit of work to get there but like i said i haven't dealt with anything other than neutrals for a while or like pinks and oranges and stuff like that oh, i've forgotten makeup actually takes time <laughs> My go to lately has literally just been like a liner and lashes. And obviously that's something that's pretty easy to to do and quite quick, so but yeah, I am liking the way this is looking. I feel like this is a really great base because when we cut the crease it's all gonna come together, so um we'll take a little bit more of that shade, the first shade we used, and use that to like blend the edges as well. Yeah, okay, I can it's definitely coming together. Okay, cute. I'm going to go up um, camera. I'm going to cut my crease. Today we're going for a full cut crease. So I'll do that now and then I will be back. Okay, so I have cut the crease now. And now what we're going to do, um, I'm going to take like a pink for the outer corner and then we're going to put like a light shimmer on the other bit. So that's what we're going to do now. Um, I think I'm going to take this shade down here. It's like they don't have shade names by the way. So it's just this one down there. Um, and I'm going to put that on the outer corner, the outer half. It's going to be quite messy with it because I am going to clean it up with like a cotton tip after, so I'm not too phased. And yeah, I'm just going to bring it like a third of the way over. Alright, I'm going to take a, a different brush that's just going to be a little bit better for blending. I need to just clean my brushes soon. Okay, <clears throat> and then the shimmer I'm going to take today is this one. It's like a um, white but like pinky reflect, so I feel like that'll be perfect for the look I have in mind. Wow, that's absolutely stunning. It's really, really pretty. I know you guys are probably still looking at this being like, what are you doing? But trust me, trust the process, okay? Okay, <clears throat> right, so now I'm going to do some liner gonna clean the eyes up and then i'm gonna try out the lashes so this is how they look here they're absolutely stunning and they're just called like the strawberry shortcake lashes i'm so excited these look so pretty um and then there's honestly not anything else to try out because obviously we don't have the blush blush the, the blush the blush we don't have the blush um but we do have the lip set so i will come back when the rest of my face is done and we'll try out this lip set which i am really excited about because how cute is that like is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Yeah. Anyway, I will be back soon. Okay, so this is the finished look. I am actually really happy with the eyes. Um, but first, I just want to quickly show you. Um, so this is the lipstick packaging, isn't it? Like, just the sweetest thing ever. And then this is how the lipstick looks. And then we have the gloss here. Just super cute. And it actually smells and tastes incredible like it smells so good um but yeah i'll give you a close-up of the eyes i feel like they actually came out really cute i'm really happy with them i think they look really really sweet um but yeah so that is this video done uh i did like the palette i think i forgot how hard it is to actually do like a creative look like not hard but like it just takes a little bit more time obviously but no, i do really like the palette i love the color story i think it is i just love the whole vibe of it like i think it is so cute and I think it's a palette that I'll definitely reach for again. Um, I really like the lashes. I think they're absolutely stunning. Really pretty, really easy to put on and super good quality. And I really, the lipstick is not my usual color, but obviously it's very fitting with strawberry shortcake and applied really well. Looks cute. But I still don't think I'm a very pink girl, but um, anyway. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of this look in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.